I think COVID has presented us with new challenges, but also new solutions. So this has been, you know, an unprecedented experience for all of us. And I think both on the teaching and learning side, we've had to be flexible, we've had to be creative, and we've all learned a lot in this process. In one of my classes, my entrepreneurship class, I actually co-teach it with somebody and we had three different locations going at once. We had students on Zoom, we had students at SEPA with me, and we had students in the design studio in Riverside Church. I would be speaking to the class and then I'd say, okay, back to you, Adam, on Riverside Drive. And we played with it. The students have choice on what kind of instruction they would like. I'm teaching two different sections this semester. One of the sections I am offering it via Zoom and the other section I'm offering Hyflex, so in person. I think most of us had a few concerns about the technology, particularly that uh, what if things don't work out, what kind of assistance would we have in the classroom. Uh, the good thing was all of these questions were promptly answered. I do miss seeing my classmates. I do miss that random chat in the hallway. But having said that, I felt like the transition has been really smooth. I think the faculty in the school has worked really hard to replicate that classroom experience. I think we're figuring out, based on little pieces of content in each of our classes, what the appropriate format is and we're able to adjust. And I think this will actually translate to what life looks like post-pandemic and what elements of online teaching and learning we keep versus what really needs to be in person.